New rosters are out. It's Monday, June 15th, which means we got before and afters. MLB, the show underscore tips here. Make sure you're following me on Twitter. So we're going to have the new ratings on top stacked right above the old ones. So Matt Harvey, now a 93 overall, still a diamond, but does drop minus one. Where does it come from? Where does he lose the points? Look at the home runs per nine. He drops a minus six points and attributes there, and that deserved the minus one overall. Now, next guy up had no change. He's also a diamond, but actually it was a big change. Look at the contact first lefties for Troy Tulowitzki, up plus five, maxes out at contact, and the power goes up plus five, but the vision drops minus six. Chris Archer updates across the board as a starting pitcher for the Rays. Gets a plus four overall. Much deserved. He's been pitching great. Sign Young candidate in the AL. Now, Batantis takes over for closer from Andrew Miller while he's hurt. Gets a plus three. And look at the K per nine. Up plus four. Maxes out at, at a 99. Even the hits is really nice at 98. Sonny Gray, overdue for this upgrade we've been talking about for weeks. Finally gets up to a 90. High gold. Updates also across the board like Archer. Two-point upgrade for second baseman Jason Kipnis. Nice hitting upgrades. Bigger news is now the Kenny Lofton set is even cheaper because you don't need him or Brantley. So Jordan Zimmerman, Nats starting pitcher, goes down minus one. Comes out of the hits per nine and K per nine. Not having a great year, but he's still an 88. Very serviceable starting pitcher. Minus three overall, though, for John Lester of the Cubs. Not a lot of love here. Not having a great year. He's not doing terrible, but it's just not been a good one. Minus three for him. Now, plus two for Brian Dozier brings this second baseman to a gold for the first time. Look at the power, especially versus lefties, 88. That's very good, very good for Dozier. Albert Pujols, contact goes down, power goes up, and the vision is up to a 95 for zone hitters. That is a huge zone you're going to have to hit with them. A.J. Pollock goes up plus two. Great contact, 81-90 splits there. I would really like him as my center fielder if I'm looking for a cheap center field option. Jason Hamill goes up plus two. Highest silver possible now at 84 overall. Nice upgrades. He continues marching up. That Cubs rotation, a lot of solid mid-80s pitchers. Cardinals catcher Molina also down minus three. Even though the hitting's not there this year, the fielding and arm strength still there. Very elite at 98-99. Clippard, currently closing for the A's, drops minus two, also to silver. The hits per nine, K per nine, all take dips here. Not a very dominating closer right now. Mr. No-No, Chris Heston gets the plus four upgrade. They fast-tracked this one after he threw the no-hitter last week. Only a 78 overall, not sure I would own him. Wrapping up with three rookies, starting with Rangers rookie Joey Gallo at third base. The power goes up, 76-81, which is realistic, sort of. He is a lefty, so I think the power should be flipped. They should have better power versus ready, but look at that vision, only 19, very small zone. Carlos Correa finally gets the call up from the Astros, debuts at 77. That could easily go up, especially in the hitting categories for him. And then the switch pitcher for the A's is in there. Only throws left-handed, as we first told you this morning on MLB, the show underscore tips. Make sure you are following me there for updates like that, especially on Roster Update Mondays. And subscribe here for more Diamond Dynasty tips, including upgrade predictions, later this week.